you know, another one of my favorite things we got to do a little earlier this summer, which is tell fans about what we have coming up. And we told you about a lot. We talked about the multiverse saga. We talked about Avengers, the Kang Dynasty coming. We talked about Avengers Secret Wars coming. But this is D23, and I don't want to just talk about a bunch of stuff. I want to show you a bunch of stuff. And we're going to start with perhaps the biggest thing we've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-writer and director of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ryan Coogler. Ryan is hard at work in the cutting room, and he said, do I have to come today? I said, it would really be nice if you could. They really want to see you. Where do you go right after this, sir? Back to the cutting room. Back to the cutting room, yes. Uh, it's, a, it's such a pleasure to be on stage with, with, with my uh, Disney family and Kevin, and, and so thankful for the opportunity to work on these films, and, and thankful for the opportunity to be here with you all today. Um, earlier this year, we showed something at, uh, at Comic Con. Hopefully, you all saw the trailer. <laughs> but uh, we, we couldn't come here and be with you all here at D23 without bringing you all something exclusive. Um, so, so, but we're gonna show you something that, that's, that's only gonna be played here for you all that, that are here today. Um, you know, so, so please check out this exclusive look at Black Panther with Conor Fett. Um, before we bring out some special guests, we just wanna shout out uh, our, our, our king, uh, Chadwick Boseman was made a Disney legend. With, with that, We'll bring out some of our, our film family uh, playing the amazing Princess Shuri, daughter of Ramonda. Letitia Wright. Playing the incredible Lord and Baku of the Jabari tribe, Winston Duke. For the first time, bringing Namor the Submariner to screen. To oh. so Red Top. Oh. And last but not least, the incredible Queen Ramonda. Oh. Andrew Ambassador. Angela, thank you. It's been a while since uh, you've been on stage with us, but thank you for being here. And that clip, you rule. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being here. Anything you want to tell us about returning to Wakanda? Oh, it's just an amazing experience, and we absolutely look forward to bringing it to you. This is like the calm before the amazing storm. <laughs> it was a great experience with the entire cast tremendous crew you know it takes a lot of magic behind to make this come together and of course our 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 leader our spiritual leader uh, ryan and our heart the chat with who was with us every step of the way he paid he showed us the way he did it and he had to he had to meet his, his, uh, his level of excellence and we did uh mr Huerta bringing Namor into the screen for the first time. What are you most excited about sharing with audience? Oh my God. That was so great and a wonderful experience. And of course, be with you guys, all of you, and all the team, all the crew. It was so perfect. You know, when you go to a new country, in a new culture, in a new industry for me, and be embraced and behold and you know all these people all this love and all this compromise to make the best movie ever with a great story with a lot of profound respect for the cultures and what this means for the people not just entertainment it is deeper and it goes beyond and thanks to Disney, because if Disney do it, so everybody can do it. 
are doing well. Thank you. Um, gracias. Mr. Gu, what are you most excited about sharing uh, with Mbaku's journey? Oh, we are back. We are back. I am excited for everyone to see Wakanda. I'm excited for everyone to see Wakanda after the Infinity Wars, after, you know, the, the end game, after, you know, everything that's happened so far. Everything has changed. Everything is bigger. Everything is better. Everything is, is, is new. I'm excited, I'm not the most technologically inclined character. <laughs> but the tech, the tech is fun, the tech is different, the tech is like nothing you've seen, it's Wakanda. So I'm excited for everyone to see the tech and for everyone to see the family and see the family grow. So, excited. Uh, Ms. Wright. A lot has happened since Shuri's last been on screen. Um, what are you most excited about sharing with the audience? Oh man, so good to see you guys. Um, really. I'm most excited about just you guys seeing the beautiful story that Mr. Ryan Coogler um, put his heart and soul into. Um, how, like Winston said, the Wakandan family has expanded. You know, we have so many great new characters attached to this franchise and to this story. Um, I'm so excited about how impactful this story will be for you guys to experience it on November 11th. I'm, I'm excited for you to walk out to that cinema and feel proud of what we, what we brought to you. And I'm excited for, for my bro to, to look down at us and smile. So, can't wait to see you guys on November 11th. We are most excited for you to see the incredible work that these four amazing actors did. Thank you so much, the cast of Black Panther of Congress Forever. Now, Ryan, there's another character that you're introducing in this movie. Yeah, we, we had a, a great pleasure to introduce the character Riri Williams, also known as Ironheart. I've been really fortunate along with, with my company, Proximity Media, to partner with Kevin and the great, the great staff at, at Marvel Studios to produce a, a show for you guys on Disney Plus. That's about um, and, and Kevin was super gracious to bring a little something, you know, to see from that as well. Just for you guys, we're still, we're not even halfway through shooting. Here's an early look at Ironheart. So, so our, our, our colleagues are literally hard at work in Atlanta right now, working on that in Chicago, um, going back and forth. So, so Dominique isn't here. Um, we brought somebody incredibly special to the Disney family, um, playing Parker Robbins, AKA The Hood, Mr. Anthony Ramos. knack for choosing projects that become iconic. There's a little thing called Hamilton. An incredible movie called In the Heights. So we feel that you're a good luck charm into this, playing a good guy, a bad guy. What is Parker? You know, he's a little bit of both. <laughs> he's a little bit of both. He's a, he's a complex guy and, uh, you know, I think Parker, uh, Parker's a, a, a he almost, almost is like a guy that's like, he, he was a misfit and he's like, you know, I'm, I, 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 I wanna take in other misfits. And I, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I wanna show the world that, you know, you looked at us as outcasts, but we're really, we're, we're gonna end on top. And, um, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, P Parker, it's a, it's, a, it's a deep, deep dive into a, into a very uh, a dark place he goes into, unfortunately, but, but I think, on the inside, Parker believes truly that he's he's doing good, and, um, and 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 Parker has a love for his crew, and he has a love for his people, and uh, and uh, I don't want to give this. I'm over here trying to dance around the plot like this because I can't give y'all the beats. But 
he's a he's a complex guy and Parker uh, kicks ass. I don't know if I can say that, but I guess I said it already. But he. Uh, sorry. Uh, thank you for coming here, Anthony. It's amazing. What's great? The hood. No more. He's dancing too close. But what's great is if you know the character from the comics, he deals in the dark arts. He deals in magic. Riri is is a technologist. We've had technological heroes and villains. We've had supernatural people dealing with magic. We've never had the two of them at the same time. So seeing, seeing Riri go up against you in a way that is uh, very unique is what, uh, is what I think I'm most excited for. Yeah, I'm really excited to see magic and technology go up against uh, one another in this, in this show. How will it work? It's uh, how will it work? What will happen? Tune in next year. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Anthony Ramos and for Ryan Coogler. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What an honor to keep working with Mr. Kruger as one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. Now, as we've said before, Wakanda Forever is the completion of Phase 4. And what kicks off Phase 5 in a very big way is our next film, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. This movie... This is a very big movie. This is a very different kind of a movie. It is a begins a direct line into Phase Five, right into the Kang Dynasty. Say hello to Mr. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Away from you, Lillies. And Kang himself, Jonathan Matros. We're friends in real life. Actually, like each other. We actually do, yeah. Oh. But not that guy, that guy's not in the club. Kevin. Oh, thank you. Now, Paul, tell us what it's Wait. like. Come here. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. Tell, tell us what it was like when you were named the sexiest man of the year. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Oh, good. Uh, it's a live, technical thing. No, it's a. Uh, all I can say is, um, you know, I, I've met Michael B. Jordan, and I know for a fact how false the title is that I would hold that. And you see that guy and think, no, yeah, that tracks, that makes sense. <laughs> very flattering and uh, very, very wrong. <laughs> I, I, I've, I'm quite close to Michael B. Jordan and Paul Rudd, and I would say um, pretty much the same to me. <laughs> See, we really are friends in real life. You might not think so when you see what's, you know, about to happen, but right, but in real life, friends. it's great. Jonathan, what's it like knowing that one day soon you will be named the sexiest man alive? I said, one day you will be named the sexiest man alive. Have you uh, seen his jacket? He doesn't need a title. He's there already. Look at him. Uh, uh, Mr. Foggy, from, from your lips to uh, the cover of People magazine. <laughs> um, love you. Uh, Evangeline, what is it like working with you? To be the sexiest man alive? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, that run, exactly. that run is I done. I the title, I accept it, and it is, it's true, I am the sexiest man alive. <laughs> he is the humblest man alive, I'm the sexiest man alive. Paul, part three, Ant-Man three. Real quick, how does it feel to be the sexiest audience alive? <laughs> Normally, you know, when the lights are shining, it's hard to really see back, but uh, there, I can see enough to know that that's true. It seems if... Oh, I didn't see that section. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a small country in here. Can you hear us? You've been waiting a long time, haven't you? You've been here since, what, 5 a.m.? Yes! More? Yeah. You since, since, you since drove a whole hour to get here? <laughs> oh my god, you live on... Oh! You, you might be sleepy, let's wake you up! Movie? Yeah. Yeah. Want to know about a movie? Yeah. You're making a movie. Well, what, what can you say? 
Well, uh, here's what I will say. This is unlike anything you've seen, certainly from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, uh, the first couple movies are so near and dear to my heart as they are to Evangeline's. Um, and I was so excited to get ready to start this thing. This thing is uh, bananas. <laughs> and while it's, it seems like a bit of an oxymoron that something so small, if we're the small heroes, do something that's so huge. This is going to be unlike anything you see from us. And um, not to mention, uh, that guy, Uh, <laughs> it, he's, he's incredible, and uh, it throws this whole thing into such uh, new territory. Um, I mean, I'm really excited. I think we probably have something, right? Well, the trailer's not coming out for a while, but you want to show something just for them? Yeah. We have something just for, just for you guys, right? Just for them. Perfect. I don't think they want to see it. They don't sound very excited to see it. Thank the cast. This is incredible. Thank you for being here. Guys, get ready. It's such, an honor, it's such an honor to be here. We're so excited, and we're excited to show you this that's made just for you. This October, which is next month, we are bringing to Disney Plus our very first holiday special. It's a Halloween special Woo! called Werewolf by Night. Please welcome the director, Michael Cicchino. Hello. You may know Michael as an amazing composer of such things as every Spider-Man film we've made, such things as Up, Ratatouille, Jurassic World, Rogue One, what am I? The Batman. The Batman! Uh, he is the, the Incredibles. Who else? Shout him out! <laughs> Inside Out. Yeah. Inside Out. He could be here for any number of those reasons. He could have a whole panel, a whole orchestra for any of those things. But he's here because he also is a very talented director. <laughs> you know, wait, wait, before we get into all this, I just want to ask you one thing, just nerd to nerd, all right, nerd to nerd. How emotional was that Indiana Jones thing? I said I almost couldn't, I almost couldn't come out here. I almost couldn't come out here either. I was like crying back Amazing. there watching that. Nice. I was, I, I, sorry, I, I, sorry, I digress. I had to do that because it's- Nerd to uh, nerd, nerd to nerds. <laughs> yes, to nerds. Yes, long live nerds. That is true. No, this is something I've been wanting to make for you since I was like 10 years old. You know, I used to make movies when I was a kid. I used to make uh, regular eight movies and super eight movies. I even went to film school. I did all of that. And then music sort of just took over my life, which I loved. It's been wonderful, but it's been incredible to be able to come back and do what I loved since I was a kid, which was to make a movie. And honestly, this is really for all of you. I remember as a kid sitting there watching these films, these 1930s and 40s horror movies, you know, The Wolfman, Dracula, The Mummy, all of that stuff, which I loved so much. And to be able to be here with you, with you, to kind of be the first people to show you what we've been up to, I can't believe we've been able to keep it a secret this long. Uh, I'm just so excited. So, uh, yeah, I just, it's not Did you bring anybody with you, Michael? Yeah, 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 yeah. I brought a couple people with me. Uh, you know, in order to do something like this, one of the first things you really need is a great cast, right? So, please, welcome to the stage the incredible Gael Garcia Barnell and Laura Donnelly. Yeah. Come on, these guys, these guys, they're the best, they're the best. Which, and Laura is just brilliant in everything she does, and I saw her in the Nevers, and I was like, <laughs> Laura, definitely. So, how are you guys doing? 
Really good. Yes. Really good. Really, really excited to be here. Eh, muchísimas gracias también para toda la banda latina que está por aquí también. Claro, sí, claro. I can't do that. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, uh, you know, wanting to say so many things, but uh, but still holding it because there's a lot of surprises, no? Yeah, yeah. We saw it for the first time yesterday, and I am so excited for you guys to see it. It's just that's so thrilling. <laughs> It's a little darker, it's a little scary, yeah. but it's still fun. It's scary. Fun it's scary. scary. But fun scary. Remember those movies we loved as a kid when we were growing like poltergeist and things like that? Like Indiana like, Jones. Indiana Jones. They just had the right level of scares. And I loved all of that. And that's what we worked really hard to bring to the screen for you. Is to try and I remember okay, so we're the first day we're on set. We're all in a circle sitting, me and the cast sitting together, and we went around in a circle and I said, Tell me something that scared you as a kid. What was something that really seared into your brain? I said, you know, that trauma, whatever it is you're feeling right now, that's what we want to do for other people. <laughs> it's now your responsibility to solve it. Yes. You know, yes. In a fun way. In a fun way. <laughs> or, or through therapy. You don't have to wait long. It's coming out next month. But would you like to see anything? From the <laughs> Third of it, Michael. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, show you the very first trailer we have for Werewolf by Night. Excellent. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Yes, thank you all. So, thank you to Disney Plus for allowing us to do that. Remember seeing those specials when you were a kid before Frosty and they would have a special <laughs> logo telling you a special was coming? That's what we wanted to do. Michael did the score for that little special presentation logo too. Because we wanted to, we thought it would be fun. I also think it would be fun to talk about two upcoming Disney Plus series by bringing out one of the original members of the MCU, one of the finest actors in the world, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Cheadle. Look how many of you there are. Give yourselves a round of applause for showing up. Wow. Excellent. Now we're going to talk about two shows today, and the first one is called Secret Invasion. Woo! Don, what can and can't you tell us about Secret Invasion? Well, I can tell you that it's going to be a lot of fun. I can tell you that it's great to have <laughs> Nick Fury. Um, yes, we can clap for Nick Fury. Sam Jackson get to uh, really be the tour de force that he is and take on his own storyline and us really get to dig deep into who this character is. And a lot of cool stuff coming up, promise you, that we can't talk about, but I think it's incredibly exciting, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Uh, it's an amazing cast, uh, returning cast like uh, uh, Maria Hill character is back. We've got Amelia Clark joining the MCU. We've got Coleman in this. Uh, and Mendelssohn's back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we brought a little something for you to see. This is the very first trailer for Secret Invasion right now. Hey. What's great about Secret Invasion is it rolls right into Don's next series on Disney Plus. Finally. talking about this for a very long time and it's based in part on a very famous comic series involving Stark armor getting out into the wrong hands and there's one man standing who can help us with that and that is Jim Rhodes. And I'm glad to be a part of this one too. Another uh, exciting one that uh, we're going to start shooting next year. Uh, six parts, six amazing parts. Again a lot of stuff that can't spoil. But uh, Sea Secret Invasion, it sets up a lot of what's going to be happening in the next series. And I'm really excited about this as well. Uh, it, we could vamp more, but we haven't started shooting it yet. <laughs> but it leads right from, and again, as you can start to see how a lot of franchises, projects, link up with one another. And this very much comes out of what, uh, where we were left in Secret Invasion. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Cheadle. Thank you. <laughs> our very first special, and now I want to talk about our very first season two. We're making a season two for the first time, and it's a little show called Loki. <laughs> they 
they are shooting right now in the UK uh, as we speak, but they wanted to say hi, so they got on a plane and came here. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hilton. Sophie DiMartino. Mr. Owen Wilson. And introducing you to the local family, the amazing Ki Hui Kwan. Guys, they literally are shooting, they got on a plane, and they get on a plane as soon as they leave the stage to go back. But thank you for being here, all of you. So good to be here. Hi. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Hello. You all look fantastic. Um, it's such an honor and pleasure to be here, to be back with Loki. Um, and also, an enormous pleasure for me to be able to welcome Key, who he to the class. Wait, uh, sorry, I'm so confused right now. Is this not the Indiana Jones panel? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, sorry, Key, no, it's uh, the Loki panel. We've been shooting for 12 weeks. Um, we can't tell anyone what we've been shooting, but we definitely have. It's in the bank. Um, I also saw, from backstage, I saw the um, Quantum Mania footage, and I recognized uh, one of the faces in it. Um, yeah, me too. I thought I'd killed that dude. <laughs> well, I think maybe a variant of that dude, potentially, that, that I know anyway. So I just wanted to say, Paul Evangeline, good luck with that. <laughs> just don't let him into the TVA. Uh, but speaking of the TVA, so here we are. Um, season two picks up where season one left off. Loki is back in the Time Variance Authority. He's had a very difficult conversation, confrontation with Sylvie. And Mobius and Hunter B-15 don't seem to know who he is. It's a little bit like that talking head song, this is not my beautiful life. <laughs> this is not, and where you're sort of, how did I get here? How, how did I get here? And everybody asks that question at one time or another. In season two, we're going to answer it. How did I get here? Yes. I'm asking that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a, it's a, we continue our story in the TVA, and there is a whole um, cast of new and returning characters to explore the ever-expanding and infinitely more dangerous multiverse. Um, which Did you say this connects into the whole multiverse saga, Tom? What do you think, Kevin? I would say yes. You would say yes. <laughs> I, would say yes. I would say yes, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 guess what? Time will tell. Uh, uh, Loki was one of the biggest surprises for Disney+, Plus. one of the biggest hits on Disney+. Plus. Uh, this cast is one of the most important reasons. Oh, and joining the MCU, I still pitch myself. How did we get here to have you, Sophie, incredible. He joined the cast. Uh, they literally are going back to keep filming. Go back, we should get on the plane. I think you probably back. should. Yeah, we should go. Unless. Wait. Oh. Let. Unless we've got something to show you. I mean, we came all this way. So I feel we may as well. Here's the first look at Loki season two. Yeah! Thank you so much. Thank you. Loki season two. Coming to Disney Plus, you know, we had another show that kicked off our series on Disney Plus. It was called WandaVision. In WandaVision, every single episode of WandaVision was directed by one man. His name was Matt Shackman. He's over there somewhere, and I just brought him to say hi because he is directing Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, as we said, coming to phase six. There he is. There's Matt. Now, why is Matt not on the stage? Because we have nothing else to say about it today. <laughs> Other than, it is coming soon. And there'll be another D23 Expo before then. So Matt will be up here at the next one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Matt Shackman, everybody. We had our first holiday special. We had our first season two. Now we have our first spin-off. There was a character reintroduced in a show called Hawkeye. Her name was Maya Lopez. In the comics, she goes by the name Echo, and we are doing an amazing new series. They just wrapped 
But here's a look at Echo. This is a very special show. Please welcome the incredible cast of Echo, Alakwa Cox, Debra Jacobs, Cody Lightning, Chaske Spencer, the incredible Grant Green, and Vincent D'Onofrio. This show is very special, it's very different, but I have to ask Alakwa, you first appeared in Hawkeye, now you've just wrapped starring in your own show. How does it feel? Oh my gosh. What a journey this has been. This is only my second role I've ever had, and now I've become a lead. It's just so crazy to me. It's not that easy, but I'm so lucky to have amazing co-stars that were even able to help me through along the way of this giant journey I did. So thank you guys so much for all of your help. I couldn't have done anything without your guys' guidance. But really, this is such an amazing feeling. To only be my second lead, it's great. Amazing. It's been amazing work in Hawkeye, amazing work in this. Every comes of like working on this project. Working on this project has been such a communal experience and has been one that I never thought I would see in my day. Like all of us growing up on our on our reservations, on our reserves, wishing to see indigenous superheroes to get to work with somebody to get to work with somebody as special and as important as Alakwa and, and like she said, like our co-stars has just been has just been unbelievable. It is one that I'm so so grateful for and also to all of uh, all of the deaf community and deaf interpreters and people who were a part of making this project. How do you top that? Yeah, how did you top what you just said? It was amazing. <laughs> What's it like being in the show, sir? It was amazing. Uh, I'm not used to that Georgia heat, but uh, yeah, I was a sweat ball the entire time. Had an absolute blast working with all these amazing actors. Uh, the interpreters were so helpful. Um, learning ASL, a whole new language. It was so educational and rewarding. And I'm going to continue. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly. You better. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. I thought we were doing this at the Holiday Inn Express. Don't look, don't look at the conference room. A... <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, it was just an honor and a blessing to be a part of it, you know. Um, a lot of, I work with youth back home, and so to be able to come home, uh, I just got back the other day of a long road trip home, um, to be able to share with all the youth that I work with, um, they're all like so proud of me, and it's just like, it's so heartwarming. Yeah, just truly honored to be here. Glad you're here, Cody. Thank you. Chaske, you work a lot with ASL in this show as well. How's that been? Oh, it was a wonderful time. Uh, it's, it was quite challenging for me at first, but uh, I think uh, the muscle memory started to uh, pick up, and I was able to pick it up a lot faster. It's a whole different world, and I'm really excited for people in the audience to see this world, and also see Lockwood Cox. I don't think you guys realize how she has some amazing screen presence. And I think you're going to see it at the show. When the camera's on there, you can't take your eyes off it. The, the incredible Grand Green, thank you so much for joining this cast. It is such an honor to have you here. And joining this. How was it like? You've done it all before, sir. How was this show for you? Well, first of all, let's get this out of the way. Everybody smile. <laughs> Thank you. What's it like uh, when I got got the phone call? I talked to Sydney Freeland, the director. And I told my wife, I said, I'm, "We're going to Georgia." She travels with me all the time. I said, "We're going to Georgia, and I have to learn ASL." And my wife looked at me and said, "Well, it's about after 42 years, about time somebody got you to shut up." <laughs> <laughs> But learning ASL and working with these kids, man, they're, 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 when, when I knew them all, they were about this big. <laughs> but now they're all grown up and holding the fence for me, the, the gate, go on the pasture, old man. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking even... over. They're taking over and I'm leaving. But learning ASL is, uh, has been a super experience for me to meet this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful young woman. 
And, uh, Thank you. But to, but to have an understanding that you can talk to somebody a half a block away and not say anything, and nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> so you can say anything you want to the police officer, and he won't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just been a blast. It's been a blast, and I, I, I wish all the best for all these kids. Thank you, sir. Grand Green, everybody. And of course, returning as Kingpin, Vincent. Thank you. We saw, we saw what happened to you at the end of Hawkeye. What's it like being back in this series? It's great. I, first, I want to thank Graham for including me as one of the kids. I don't know if you didn't realize that. <laughs> he did extend it over like that, so I just appreciate it. Um, I don't know, it's a great cast. I was just so impressed by all these people. They're just, you'll see, they're just amazing talents, all of them. And I have to, I, you know, to bring Fisk and Maya back together again was just an absolute thrill. I saw Alekwa's capabilities when we did Hawkeye, but I really had no idea the extent of her talent, and we had some crazy scenes. And, uh, you know, you, to be with another actor that has the kind of talent that she does, where we're just one-on-one -on -one with each other, full on, it was just extraordinary. Now, this uh, is a very special show. We can't wait to show you more. I have not learned as much ASL as I should have, but I do know one thing, and that is how to cheer in ASL. So I want the entire audience to go like this. Let's cheer for Lakwa and the entire cast oh, I love of Echo. Oh, I love all this in the audience. It's amazing. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is uh, very I notice uh, I notice you're still standing out here sir oh, oh sorry uh, well I think that aren't you supposed to talk about my show wait your show I think you mean my show stood with these two gentlemen together, so it's pretty amazing. What, what is it like being back? The two of you who've been doing this for many, many years and now joining the Marvel Studios family. I mean, it's, it's emotional. It's really, really emotional. It's a, what an odd feeling to have been, in some ways, been doing this for a while. And, uh, and yet, we're, we're starting again, you know? We get double the amount of time. <laughs> We're doing 18 episodes. We, we don't start filming until next year, so there is nothing that we can show for you today because we haven't started filming. So I apologize, but you get to see them. Yeah, but, I mean, Kevin, if, if you wanted to show something, you could maybe show them some, some Daredevil from, oh, from, that other, from that other thing. From the other thing. Oh. I mean, if you're little, little, being honest about wanting to show it. It's a good idea, Charlie. Here's a little clip of what you'll see in an upcoming episode of She-Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Cox from Vincent Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, it was on this stage, the last day 23, that we announced we were doing a show called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And in that show, you all learned that there's a new Captain America. His name is Sam Wilson. And now he's coming to the big screen in our upcoming film, Captain America, New World Order. Please welcome to the stage our director, Julius Anna, Captain America himself, Mr. Anthony Mackie. From the show, we have Danny Ramirez. We have the incredible Carl Lumley returning. Unable to join us today, but we've cast a new character. Uh, the actress's name is Shira Haas. She's playing an amazing Marvel character named Sabra for the first time in the MCU. 
and for the first time in 14 years, coming back to the MCU, the incredible actor Tim Blake Nelson as the leader. until early next year and you've just digging into it how's it feel never mind this incredible stage but to be taking over captain america it feels incredible i mean look at this cast it's an amazing group of people and you and everyone at marvel this is going to be a wild ride this movie it's a great great paranoid thriller and uh just getting to really be a part of seeing sam take center stage and anthony i'm through the roof i'm so excited anthony cap Kevin, boss, <laughs> Captain Mike Captain. It's a movie now. How's it feeling? Uh, it's amazing, man. I'm um, I'm nervous. I'm excited. It's um, you know, it's it's everything I expected it to be. Um, the the script is amazing. The cast is amazing. My man D Nice coming back and roll with me. My man Shaggy Cole coming through. Now we're bringing Nasty Tim in. It's gonna be new. <laughs> Danny, you were in the show. You seem to be jealous of Sam's wings in the show. And my sexiness. Now, well that goes without saying. <laughs> now Danny, you then went and started another movie involving flight called Top Gun Maverick, so congrats on that. You excited to be joining? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned nerves. I'm so nervous right now because of just how it's like, what it means to be able to, to, to work with this amazing cast and then to and with Julius and to obviously work under you again. Um, I'm, just, I'm just excited to, to everything that's involved with it. Um, I don't know what else I could say beyond that. Really nothing. Yeah. yeah, okay, fair enough. That was great. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm like the whole time I'm just looking over and like, can you sit in the pocket? Okay, cool. Carl Lumley, you're a legend. You joined us on the show as Isaiah Bradley. Yeah! We learned what happened in the past and Sam Wilson Got you that statue for Smithsonian. How's it feel being back in, in the limelight in this film? Um, it feels great being anywhere. <laughs> and um, <laughs> being here is just stunning because sometimes, you know, you don't know what to ask for and then sometimes something is handed to you and when it is, um, you think, well, that's wonderful. That probably won't happen again. And now here we are. So I look forward very much to uh, seeing where this is going. So proud to have you, sir. And when we last saw Tim Blake Nelson in the MCU 14 years ago, he was lying on the ground, having been exposed. We teased oh. the coming of the leader, and 14, 14 short years later, we deliver. Woo! Promises fulfilled in Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tim, like everybody else, you can't say much, but thank you so much for being back. How's it feel? I'm delighted. Uh, Marvel is part of cinema history, and that I get to be a part of, of that uh, is an absolute honor, and thank you for, for sticking with the leader. That's it, everybody. Your cast of Captain America, New World Order. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited that this You know, one of the things in, in, in the Captain America film is that there currently is a world without the Avengers. Sam Wilson finds himself as Cap at a time where there's not an organization of, of Avengers. But just because there's not an organization of the Avengers doesn't mean there's not a group of superheroes in the MCU. Not a group perhaps as lofty as the Avengers, but there is a group and they're called the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts are finally coming to the screen and they are a ragtag bunch, and I want you to meet them. Starting with our director, Mr. Jake Schreier. I also want you to say hi to Julia Louis Dreyfus, who's playing Valentina Allegri Fontaine. We've got the return of David Harbour as the Red Guardian. John Common as Ghost. <laughs> Wyatt Russell is back as John Walker, AKA US Agent. Yes! Not here with us today, but Olga Kirilenko is back as Taskmaster. And there's so 
somebody else who couldn't be here with us today, but she wanted to say a quick hello. It is Lawrence Pugh here. I am so gutted that I'm not there in person to say hi, but I am unbelievably excited to be joining this cast. So please, from me, can you share a lot of love to my castmates? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Bye for now. Yelena Belova is back, and I am uh, extremely excited to announce also joining the Thunderbolts. Sebastian Stan. I love you. Sir. Your Thunderbolts cast, Jake. We can say nothing, you can't say anything. What can you say? That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Julia, we had a meeting. Lugia Esposito, my co president, is here somewhere, and I saying, we want you in the universe, we need you in the universe. Maybe you believed us, maybe you didn't. And now, she's in the universe, and in this movie, responsible for everything that happens. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I, I have to say that when you called, and you said my character's name, Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, I said, you, have, you had me at Contessa. <laughs> right? That's true. David Harbour, thank you. Back in the MCU. Yeah. This much love to a Red Guardian and nothing else is incredible. Really great. Uh, it, we are so proud to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. I love this. Uh, I love this team. I love the Marvel Universe, and I love Red Guardian and my beloved Yelena. Honestly, one of the best relationships in the MCU is the, uh, is the demented father-daughter relationship. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Hannah, returning to the MCU for the first time since Ant-Man the Wasp as a ghost, thank you so much. Coming back. Anything you want to tell us about what it feels like to be back here? Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing, and yeah, thank you for having me back, and can't wait. Uh, you're great, thank you so much. Wyatt, good seeing you again. Last time I saw you, you were beating people to death with a shield. You were perverting the very notion of what it means to be Captain America. That's right. Is there hope for US agent, my friend? Uh, I don't know, it's up to you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, it's good to be back. I'm excited as the most boring Avenger. Um, welcome, to, welcome to Disney. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be super exciting. You got a great team of people. It'll be really fun. And uh, the creative team's gonna make something awesome we can all be proud of. So, Sebastian, on to you. Oh, on to you, Sebastian Stan, everybody. The Winter Soldier. Well, listen, you know, um, these are my kinds of people, you know. <laughs> they look like a good troubled bunch, and maybe I know a thing or two about that, and I'm just really glad to be back and, I guess, join a team of some sort. Well, I, I think it, lets, it tells you all you need to know about the Thunderbolts when, when beloved Winter Soldier is the most stable among them. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Uh, this starts shooting early next year. Thank you so much to the cast and to the director of Thunderbolts. Now that was going to be the last thing we were going to talk about today, but then I realized there is one more thing I wanted to talk about. It's something that comes out next July. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, the director of the Marvels, Mia DaCosta. <laughs> Kamala Khan herself, Miss Marvel, the Marvel. Yeah. From WandaVision, Monica Rambeau, Tiana Paris. And your Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, Miss Brie Larson. This is this is this is the big finale. The yes. first time the three of them been together on stage. The first time any of them been to D23. And Amon, is this the first time you've been in front of seven thousand five hundred fans? 
Tavia. <laughs> Man, Aman went to a pretend convention called Avenger Con in Miss Marvel. And now you've come to the real one. It's not too bad. Yeah. I'm having trouble breathing today. It's great. Yeah. It, it's not pretend. She is a bigger fan uh, than any of you. And we didn't know this when we cast her. And we regretted it only slightly. <laughs> But it's remarkable. Tiana, joining us in WandaVision, and now you've already shot this incredible appearance. What's it like? It's been amazing. Uh, you know, Monica got a little bit of powers or something, so we're gonna see how those pop off in the Marvels. Very exciting. <laughs> Bree, you're back. You brought more Marvels with you. Thank you for that. It was incredible. My pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> How is it? Your next movie? Uh, this one? Uh, I can't tell you about it, but it's incredible. I had such an amazing time with these beautiful women, inside and out. I learned so much, and it was really nice to have a team. I had a team! A team brought together by Mia. Mia, thank you for joining the MCU. Oh, okay. How's it been? Um, my favorite part, besides working with these amazing women, finally being part of a universe I've loved since I was a kid, is accosting you every time I see you and pitching you 17 movies. So thank you. That is true. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. That is true. None of them are in production yet, but we'll see. I think I'll get there. I'll get there. One at a time. One at a time, absolutely. Uh, as I said, this film doesn't come out all the way until July. But Nia, did you bring anything to leave us with? This is the end of E23. Yes. So, you know, we're still working on the film. We're so excited about it, but we wanted to bring you a little little snippet of what we've been working on, so I hope you enjoy it. Our first one. Let's stay over here and we'll watch it. Yeah, we have, okay. Okay. Here it is, the first look at the Bible.